First off, I've got to say, I have never been to an ice cream shop that serves you ice cream on a plate. Hey everyone, I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And, and we, we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. Today, we are doing a very, very exciting trip. We are going out to Lancaster and back. However, there are six stops in between. So the six stops are all at different designated creameries throughout Pennsylvania that Visit Pennsylvania, the organization, has put together. And so if you do so, at the end, if you get these little verification codes that you went to these creameries, they will send you an engraved ice cream scoop. Yeah, so exciting. And if you don't know already, I love ice cream. As we are sporting here today, I have a good old Chubby's Dairy Barn shirt from my childhood. First job ever was working at a ice cream shop. So Mark has one a little newer, 2013. Woohoo! So, I didn't work at an ice cream shop. I actually didn't even like sweets until I met her. How can you not love ice cream though? <laughs> There's so many flavors and so many things to explore with ice cream. So yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I really hope that this goes well. When we got home last night, it was pretty late. And so we plugged in. We were expecting to charge to 100% today because the goal is to hit all the shops, get there and back without hitting a supercharger. We're not gonna hyper mile though, we're just gonna drive normal and see if it, it works. So we're at 98%, so 2% less than 100, but hey, we can make that work. And uh, I planned it out, I don't really know the miles, I could tell you the miles, but I never looked at that, but it's a six hour round trip that's without the stopping at each creamery, so. Yeah, so Six this hours. is a special treat we go. for you and a treat for us because it's a lot of ice cream. So, um, we're just crazy enough to decide to do all six creameries in one day. And what better place than the Amish country of Lancaster. So, um, that is why we're doing this. And now we also have little Willow joining us in the car. So, that's super exciting. She's so cute and gotten so big over the last year or so. Um, and our first stop is called Patches Family Creamery. And this one is located out in Lebanon. It's our farthest location. And then we're going to work our way back towards home. So, this... Um, Creamery is about 90 miles, which is going to take about two hours to get to. Here we go. We are here at the Patches Family Creamery and we got a peaches and pecan sundae to try out um, at this location and we got that trail code so we have to get a four digit code from each of these creameries to get that engraved ice cream scooper hopefully um and then yeah we are very excited to try this we both have not eaten anything so All day yet. normally breakfast each thing is going to be like a kitty size but i was like you know what the heck i'm starving so, so let's hungry. get this peaches sundae at I almost called this place Peaches, but it's called Patches. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful farm. Uh, we'll give you a tour of the farm in a little bit, but I'm gonna get was, some of this in me. I was Willow with the animals. Willow was amazing with the animals. The one donkey followed her up and down the, <laughs> the uh, fence that line there, so that was pretty interesting. Everyone and everything loves Willow Grove. And I believe we arrived here at 63%. I can confirm that when we get back to the car, but I believe it's 63%, so not bad for stop number one. All right, so here we are. This is Patch's Family Creamery. And there's actually a, another red Tesla Model Y here, so that's pretty cool. So pretty fun fact, they have a drive through This farm, this creamery has a drive through I did not expect that, but they serve ice cream and a lot of ice cream places do have drive throughs so I had said that we arrived at 63% and in fact we arrived at exactly 60%. 
So we're at 60% uh, state of charge and we're heading to our next location. Thank you again to the Patches Family Creamery. That was a delicious treat. Great way to start the day. Some fresh peaches. That ice cream was beyond fresh. It was delicious. It was like a little bit of peach sweet. pie. It, a little peach pie for breakfast. Pretty much. Um, and next we are heading out to the Oregon Dairy, which the is, milk and house. it's called the Milk House is the name of their creamery. So the Milk House at Oregon Dairy. Um, this location is about 35 minutes away from where we're currently at. Um, that would be an additional 21 miles to the trip. Left and on we're going to go and explore that one next. The drive down to Lidditz, PA was not too bad. It was actually a very wonderful, beautiful scenic route of Amish country. So, this place is the Milk, milk House, House at, at Oregon, Oregon Dairy. Dairy. And we have a whoopie pie sundae here that we have yet to dig into. Yes. And man, what a history of whoopie pies. Whoopie pies are <laughs> a claim to fame that they can't really decide in the US as to where, but. There's controversy. From Massachusetts, Maine, Pennsylvania, who was the originator of the whoopie pie? I'm definitely leaning towards Pennsylvania, uh, but yeah. you know, I am from Rhode Island. If you didn't watch that video, you know, click up here or up here somewhere and you'll be able to see that. But yeah, whoopie pie, we're gonna eat this up because, like I said, we didn't eat any food in preparation for this. finished that whoopie pie sundae from um, the, the milk, milk house at Oregon Dairy and if you don't know what a whoopie pie is by the way some people say it's a cookie some say it's a pie some people say it's a cake it's really however you want to interpret the treat that it is it's like um, a conglomeration of all yeah three. honestly it kind of always has reminded me as I was growing up here in Pennsylvania about like a muffin top so it's like a muffin top mm -hmm. but the muffin top would be just a chocolate muffin so a chocolate cake and then it's filled with an icing, usually just plain vanilla, or what do you call it? It's not what? vanilla. Well, I mean, the whole it's thing like about just the- It's like cream, and then another, so it's like a cookie sandwich, but with a pie. Of yeah. Our next creamery is Fox Meadow, and we are going oh, wait, to their- wait, I wanted their... to shout out one oh. thing to Oregon yeah. Dairy. They offered complimentary water, water. and so That's Willow true. was able to get a really, really oh, nice wow. drink of water there. So wow. that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for that. But yes, we're headed to Fox Meadows and Morgan will tell us about that. So Fox Meadows, um, we're actually going to their second location. It's in Leola, Pennsylvania. So we started in Lebanon, went to Lidditz, and now we're in Leola. Um, and this is only about 10 minutes away from the Oregon Dairy. And we're at 55% uh, state of charge. Right. Yeah, so we're still over half of our batty, battery, battery, goodness. I think the sugar is hitting me now. We're heading on out and we'll see what the next type of treat is that we find here at Foxman. Here is their From Cow to Cone, story of the Fox Meadows Creamery. Obviously it starts with the cows, they get milked, it goes into processing, then they make their ice cream. They also have to grow crops to feed said cows. It's just so neat. And then the next window, they have their ice cream making facility. Even a little sign that tells you when they're actually gonna be back making the ice cream, which is now Tuesday at 11 a.m. It's so cool here. First off, I've got to say, I have never been to an ice cream shop that serves you ice cream on a plate. Yeah, 
This is epic. I have never seen anything like it. This is called their Baked Fox. This is one of three different versions you can get. This is, of course, the chocolate chip cookie version. They also can do it with a brownie or strawberry shortcake. And then they put whatever flavor of ice cream you want inside as well. So really, the options are limitless. Amazing. Wait, how did they make it? <laughs> oh, yeah. So what they do is they take either two cookies, two brownies, or two pieces of cake, I guess. And then they put your scoop of ice cream on it, or you could ask for a double. And then um, put it in a waffle maker slash panini press, whatever you want to call that thing. And then it comes out hot with ice cream inside. So it's starting to melt a little bit. Yeah, I definitely want to get in on this and try this because I didn't know that that's how they made it. But we're at 49%, so we just broke below the halfway point. And this is our third stop, so three more to go. Just left Fox Meadow Creamery in Leola. And uh, the logo of the creamery is absolutely adorable. It's a white background with a little teal fox. So I thought that was really cute. All those but, staff shirts were actually gray with the teal, which I thought was, you know, perfect. And it's made it stand out a bit better. So that was really cool too to see. But I know that my wife, Morgan, here is in ice cream heaven. She is so happy. This is the best day of her life. And I am, in fact, in ice cream hell. I feel kind of awful, to be honest. Uh, this is not pleasurable for me at all. <laughs> but I'm not going to quit. I'm a perseverer. I will get through this. Uh, we are halfway done, and our car is a little less than halfway full. So I think we're going to be fine. I think we will make it back. But we are now headed to Westchester. Mm -hmm. and we're going to see, um, and we'll, we're actually going to visit Bailey Dairy. So that is our next stop, the fourth stop for us today. So only two left to go after that. Thank we're God. over the hump. <laughs> so we're here at Bailey's Dairy, and their farm is super cute, rustic. They have their animals up and their pens, of course. And there's a little market, no dogs as well, all over the place. So Willow and Mark have to stay in the car during this trek. But it's very cute. And they do have to-go ice cream. I can already see it in there if you ever wanted to come and get some ice cream for home. And then it opens up and looks like there's a little more parking up there. But that trailer right there is how they serve their ice cream. This stop was at a food truck pretty much on their farm. So that was very different. Um, and the lady said that they make their own soft serve mix here. So it's not a mix that you can buy at the store. They use their own cream and milk from their own cows to make the soft serve. They had two hard flavors. They had black raspberry and mint chocolate chip at this time. But she did inform us that they were made at another farm. So I'm gonna start eating this. I'm pretty excited to try uh, this, honestly. Melted. Yeah. Um, we arrived here at 30% uh -oh. and it says that we're going to get to our next location at 18%. So uh -oh. I'm really starting to feel that we're not going to make it home, Uh oh. <laughs> but we will let you know. And how's the ice cream? You tried it? It's pretty good. Is it good? Go. Does it taste like vanilla? <laughs> People are not going to be so gross that we share an ice cream cone like this, but it's, oh, it's really very good. good. Yeah, yeah, very good. So good job, Bailey's. Thank you. Thank you. Bailey's Dairy was one of our fastest stops yet, um, which kind of helps us with the time travel and everything and the percentage on our car. We did turn the air con off um, and that uh, helped us with like 3% in our next destination. So we it's might just right try the windows. I know I turned it down because we had to roll up the windows to record said video. Oh, I know. Um, it's okay. But there we go. Like, so, we're going to use the car the way we know. We're going to use the car the way we use it. Yeah, we really shouldn't try to alter it. But anyway, it's just so beautiful out. And we had a fly in the car, but that's just what happens, you know, when you have farms, so. Clear Bailey's Dairy says we're gonna get to our next location, our fifth stop, Chester Springs Creamery at 21%. So I don't know, I'm, I'm holding out hope. I'm, I think we're gonna do it. I'm nervous, but Sorry. I think there's a, a, there's a chance. Uh, anyway, we might be rolling into our house at like 2%, but well, that means we made it. So That's right. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I feel like I've gotten a second wind. You know, I'm feeling good again. Had a little bit of their ice cream and 
it was, I don't feel yeah. like absolute garbage. So that's a positive thing. Well, it also wasn't loaded with, you know, extra sweet treats with chocolate chips or jimmies or anything else. It was just ice cream. The Sundays, the Sundays were probably a mistake, but yeah. we, we came in too hungry. Oh yeah. We probably yeah, should have sure. had a little something. For breakfast, and then we like a been normal like, person. Oh no, we'll just have a kitty. Instead, we're like, give, give us, us everything. All the food. <laughs> yeah, so one more stop out here in Westchester still, and then we're heading back up to Montgomery County, Pennsylvania for the last stop. So, on the road again. <laughs> this stop, we made it. Um, we are here at the Chester Springs Creamery, it's at the Milky Way Farm. Um, another farm that I didn't realize did not allow dogs. So two out of the five so far did not allow dogs on their property. So Willow and Mark stayed in the car, unfortunately. Um, this creamery though names all their ice creams after their cows. So I think that's really cute. So they're all like different names first and then the flavor type and then they change that even up. So you're really kind of guessing as to what type of ice cream it is. And I actually lucked out on this mm -hmm. stop uh, even though it was a flavor I really wanted, it was called Bia's Banana Chocolate Chunk. They didn't have it. So I get a little reprieve for a while. Um, Morgan's got her classic here, mint chocolate, mint chocolate chip. chip. One of my OG faves. I tried it. It's good, <laughs> but I have no desire to eat it. So oh. she can, uh, she can oh, enjoy no. that. <laughs> <laughs> so something that was uh, very interesting is that this creamery you buy your ice cream based on the ounce so growing up scooping ice cream i understand that um type of accountability as to how big your ice cream scoops are coming over the counter um but they actually don't really like they say a small cup or a large cup but then however much it weighs is how much you pay so it was 77 cents an ounce if it was just in a cone a regular cone or a cup but then if you wanted a waffle cone, it was $0.82 cents an ounce. So very interesting method of how they charge you for their ice cream. But honestly, that is kind of more realistic as to how much you're purchasing and how much the ice cream scoopers are scooping. And we have also hit a major roadblock. We cannot make it to the last destination no. and home. So I am going to stretch the car as far as I think I can. Which and will our take next us stop... To our next stop is Freddie Hill, but we're going to go to a supercharger in the Lansdale area, which we should be arriving there between about 2 and 1%. So that should give us an idea of how far this car can go oh, Lordy. in mixed condition. Hopefully we make it. We'll let you know. Um, yeah, when Mark and I left the creamery, it said we were going to arrive at the supercharger at 2%. 2 that was crazy. So we thought it would barely make it, but as we traveled, it went up to 7%. So we just decided to just play it safe, go right to the supercharger and... And we arrived here at 6%. So mm -hmm. through our course of mixed driving today, we drove 216 miles at 276 watt hours per mile, which is actually 3.6 miles per kilowatt. And if you take that number by the size of our battery, it says that we could go about 370 miles. I would say based on... You mean 270 miles? That is what I meant, Not 270 miles. Yeah. Based on that though, and the conditions of today with the aircon, I would say about 240, 250-ish miles we would yeah. have had if we uh, were going to drive this from 100% down to zero. So. Overall, really good day. We've been on the road since 7 a.m. It is now 3.33 in the afternoon, and we have one more stop. One more ice cream to so, go. So quick uh, bathroom break, quick uh, charge up, and then and we'll be... Willow's got to get out and stretch those legs. I got to stretch my legs. Ready, Willow? All right, baby. Oh, yeah. Going to get out. Quick 15-minute charging stop here at Wawa. Both Morgan and I at the restroom, and this is the reason... And Willow, too. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, uh, the reason why I'm never allowed to go into stores is because I inevitably will see things, they'll catch my eye, and then I walk out with them. So, shout out to this new pineapple flavored tropical vibe from Celsius. I haven't had this one yet, I'm very excited to try it. Then I also got some of that good Swiss Alps water. Liquid death. Liquid death. And then blueberries, I love blueberries, so blueberry mm -hmm. almonds. So yeah, I'm wasting my money over here, but 
15 minute charge took us from 6% to 50% and we have more than enough range now for the remaining trip, which is one more stop and home. Mm -hmm. We made it. We are at our last creamery for the day. It is called Freddie Hill Farm in Lansdale, PA. Yep, Lansdale. So I'm um, super excited to go check this out. I'm super excited for this to be over. Oh, <laughs> stop it. It's not nice. It's been a delicious day. What can I say? It's been a day. It's mm -hmm. been a day. Yeah, so um, we are gonna go check this out, and uh, it's really awesome. I can't wait to show it to you. Come on, Bill. Let's go show them this place. All right, so Freddie Hill has something that the other two places did not have today, and that is a mini golf course. So Freddie Hill is a fun center for a whole family. They have mini golf with their cool fountains. And they also have a driving range. They have junior golf classes in the summertime for all the kids to learn how to golf. And here is their putt-putt. They actually have two courses here. So they have red and blue that are just as fun. Oh, so close, purple ball. All right, here we are, Will. Isn't this fun? So at the last stop, Morgan had to eat that whole thing of mint chocolate chip because I don't really care for mint chocolate chip. And I missed out on the banana chocolate chunk. But here, Morgan was able to get me a little kitty size, which this is my preferred size of ice cream. One kitty size of ice cream. And this is just straight banana and is absolutely delicious. So great way to end the day. But I must say, Pennsylvania, I have a suggestion for you. Next year, don't do ice cream. Let's do something else. Burgers, pizza, some different trail. I can't do an ice cream trail two years in a row. The dairy death tour has come to an end. <laughs> Where does he come up with this stuff? Hey, you know, I'm just... No, it. it was awesome. What a day we had. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a beautiful day, but I literally... Yeah. And we literally got it all in right before the sun showers that are now happening, so that's lovely. Um, but it was really, really awesome. How many miles did we drive? We did 235 two... miles today. Yeah. That is awesome. It kind is. Kind of wild. But... It is, it is 5.15 p.m. And I am ready to be done driving. Um, and I am also ready to never eat ice cream ever again. <laughs> I'll be back at it tomorrow, I'm sure. She's crazy, I swear. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little treat trip that we did. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can stay up to date with the newest Grove Electric videos. Mm -hmm.